This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shave four five. Wake your fuck ass up. Sway in the morning. Shave four five. Where we try to make great moments happen. Two things are happening at the same time right now, mm-hmm. and, 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 and two very, very popular people are, are with us right now. Right. One is my good friend, my brethren from my home soil, Heather B. Oh, gosh. All right, this dude is like we 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 go together like Siamese twins, HB. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, if, 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 if I'm the bread, then he's the. Then, well, he, well, I, I, I can't. I, don't, I didn't come macaroni up with nothing right there. Peanut the butter and jelly, man. The peanut butter and jelly, hey, man. Like angel flights and members only jacket. There that's it how far is. We that, go that's back. how far back we go. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. The one and only E40, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what is it though? You know, uh, you on that tour right now, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Choices tour. Yeah. The Choices tour. Uh, we slid through here. You feel me? Yeah. Headed yeah. to uh, Little Rock, Arkansas tomorrow. Little Rock, you got a you got a banger with that Choices record, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love it, man. Um, Thank you. And then also, this isn't her first time here. She has a new book, um, and she's giving people advice on love for decades that have saved a lot of uh, would-be failed marriages, relationships, or even maybe even advise people to get out of them. Uh, it's the one and only Dr. Ruth is here. Yeah. How you doing, Dr. Ruth? I'm very well. Thank you. Absolutely. I wanted you to meet Thanks. E-40. He, he's written up, rap Ruth? songs about love. So okay, I like his hat. Thank yeah. you. California, it's a skiing hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, the Cali thing. You feel very me? nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, damn, man. Y'all just bonded right there. I felt, <laughs> I felt something. You got the new book, right? The Doctor is in? Yes. Dr. Ruth on love, life, and je de... No, no, no. Okay. Joie de vivre. Joie de vivre. Means zest for life. In what language? In French. Oh, merci beaucoup. Say it again. Je... Say it again. Joie, Joie de, de, vivre. de vivre. You say it. Joie de vivre. Joie de vivre? Yes. Joie de vivre. Joie de vivre. Zest for life. Joie de vivre. Zest for life. Zest for All life. Right. And, and so what exactly is zest for life about? So what it is, it's a little bit autobiographical. Okay. I'm talking about that I was 10 years old when I had to leave Germany because Mm -hmm. of the Nazis. Mm -hmm. I talk about how grateful I am to the Americans, Australians, Mm -hmm. and uh, New Zealand and Canadians. Mm -hmm. Because if they had not entered World War II, I wouldn't be alive. Right. You would have never met me. What? I would not be able to talk about sex. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, but the, the book that I... what. Open the cover. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here what they did, Amazon, which is fantastic. Take the cover off. Okay. Take the cover off. The okay. book. Take, okay. Not okay. the clothes. Okay. The cover. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, <laughs> <laughs> you're moving so quickly here, Dr. Yeah. Ruth. All right. And look at this. It's a beautiful cover, but look at this. It's oh. in gold. Okay. And can you see that? I can see that. It it's says in... the doctor is in. Uh huh. Dr. Ruth on Love Life and Joie de Vivre. Joie de Vivre. Joie de vivre. Yes, merci. And so what I'm telling a little bit stories, end of my life. Did you know that I was a sniper? You, you, you were a sniper? Yes, I've never killed anybody. But in 1948, in the War of Independence in Israel, mm-hmm. I was trained in the Haganah, in the underground, to be a sniper. So any radio host who is not nice with me, Ooh. watch out. <laughs> you see, I hear some shots. <laughs> so, I have never killed anybody, uh-huh. but I was very badly wounded on mm. my birthday, on June 4th, 48, on both legs. But you know what? What? That's not why I'm short. I would have been short anyway. Okay, okay. okay. That didn't, oh, that so, didn't stunt your growth or uh, nothing, right? So, I <laughs> wanted to show in this book, an Amazon book, I wanted to show a little bit about my philosophy of life. Uh-huh. How important it is to keep your mood up. Sometimes if you are sad, say, okay, something didn't work right. Yeah. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow will be better. Exactly. Not to let something tear you down and be all upset about it. Uh Say, I'll deal with it. Tomorrow will be better. And especially you people. Yes. You have that ability to have music. Uh So with music, you can help people to, ha- to get into a better mood. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't solve all of their problems. Yeah. That's why therapists are here. Yeah. You ha- they have to make a living. You got to, yeah. Right? But you <laughs> can help them 
by music. By music. I, music is yeah. therapeutic and healing. Very. You, you, right? You think about that when you when write you your sad, songs? When you're sad, yeah. you know, when you're sad, you listen to some music, it can bring you up. That's yes. right. You know what I mean? And vice versa. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Sad when you're sad and when you're happy. It's yes. just, you know. And, and you have to know, all of you young people here, to make the best out of every day. If one day things don't go so right, know that tomorrow will be better. You agree with that? I agree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree with it, Dr. Ruth. Um, I think Heather, Tracy, do you guys? Absolutely. I agree with it. Okay. Now, Forty, you ever have a moment? You mind if I ask him a question related to what you're talking about? No. Okay. Do. You ever had? You know, you've had a, you've sustained a, a, a great career over the years, over the decades. But I mean, I'm sure you've had mountains and molehills. You ever have a day? Can you recall a day you woke up and felt like, damn, man, it's it's all you know collapsing on me right now. I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Yeah, when uh, my grandmama passed, and um, you know, she was like, you know, she was it. She had eleven kids, and you know, my mama was one of them. And uh, then uh, two two months later, my granddaddy he passed. He had uh, had prostate cancer, and it was uh, what you call that it when it's at when it's at rest. Uh huh. And okay. then it came back like within right then and there, like he just. Oh, it was, was in remission, and then yeah, it came back. So, yeah. And then he died right away. So that I was just like down, like you know what I mean. That really hurt me a lot. So what you should do is to accept that you are sad that they passed, yeah. but to remember what they meant to you. Yeah. And now, right today, you go home and you write a song about remembrance. Yeah, that's right. In memory of your grandparents. Reminiscing. That's right. right. And you say what they gave you, how much they loved you and how lucky you are yeah. that they were in your life. Definitely. That's what I did in this book. Yeah. I was with my parents and my grandmother mm -hmm. in Frankfurt, in Germany, for the first 10 and a half years of my life. Then they had to put me on a train to safety in Swi to, to mm -hmm. Switzerland to an orphanage, and they all got killed. They did not survive. But that's what I'm doing. I'm saying how fortunate the first 10 and a half years of my life, I had a grandmother mm -hmm. who had nothing else to do but take care of me. I had parents. I was an only child. And I'm grateful for that. So you write a song and then you send it to me. Okay. All right? I'm going to do it. You okay. Do that Get your contact. I'm real with it. Okay. Watch it. Watch okay. it. That's right up my alley anyway. You know, I like to touch the hearts of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, even his new song is called Choices. And in it, he's talking about choices that people face every day, you know, that could lead you down a path of uh, glory or a path of misery. That's a real spill. <laughs> right? A real spill. Yeah, you should send it to that, too. Did you I finish see. the video yet? The video should be done, um, like, Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. Did I make I got, it? Yeah, you went there. Did you you got my clip? Too. Thank yeah, you. I got, I got you saw me that. doing my little yeah, dance. I want to see good. it, too. You know what you're okay. doing, man. Professional. Maybe you should get Dr. Roof to do a game. But would, you are very good. I would good. love to. That would be hard if she let me. But you are very good. You know why? Why? You are brilliant. Thank you. Because you are, first of all, plugging him mm -hmm. and his music. Mm -hmm. You are plugging my book very well. Thank you. And you are very brilliant by going from one to the other. Wow. Very Thank clever. He interviewed the President of the United States. Thank you. But, but I interviewed Dr. <laughs> Roof. <laughs> That's, <more right>. <laughs> <laughs> That's wait, real talk. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody listen. Saturday night. I was at a place with 90,000 New Yorkers. I watched that horse Pharaoh win. Oh, and guess what? Yes. I had the former president of these United States, Bill Clinton, kiss me on this cheek oh. and on this. Wow. I haven't washed my face since. <laughs> Damn. Oh, she was at the Belmont Stakes. Oh, you was at oh, the Belmont Stakes. Yeah. American Pharaoh made history. American Pharaoh. 37 years, they yeah. didn't have that triple, triple, triple crown and, winner, right? And I went, and a friend of mine was supposed to come, and he was sick. I said, never mind, goodbye. I took a, <laughs> I took a car service, I zoomed in, and the guy, Chris, who is the CEO yeah. of Belmont, he had a car taking me back. I got home at midnight with a smile, <laughs> because I, got, I saw that horse, and guess what? I also saw the chief, the biggest chief, he had about 40 medals of West Point. Uh -huh. And he also gave me a kiss. Yeah. It's wonderful to be Dr. Ruth. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> like you had a menage. That's why I talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs>
birthday just passed? <laughs> the birthday pa- just passed. Not 46? Not 46, but 87. 87. Oh, uh, but I'm very lucky because I'm healthy and I like you young people mm-hmm. because you are doing something with enthusiasm. That's Thank what you. you are doing very well and you did your homework. Yeah. I'm coming out with two more books. I come on your show again. Thank you, Dr. Oh, Rose. Thank you, Dr. Rose. I haven't been invited yet, but I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but the way you point at me, I feel like I'm obligated to, you know. Because it's my first. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Rose. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can we do it? it? Can we do it? the music at? You got it? Okay. Can we play you know choices? What? Okay. Yeah, and you heard it, it say the thing? film it. Okay. Nope. And so, yep. we want you to say nope. 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 And I'll say yep. 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 Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay. No. Nope. No. Yep. Yep. Ever told on a nigga? No. Did I do it right? Yeah, yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it from the top. Let's do it from the top. Okay. 40, you closer. Closer, closer, 40. You got to put your headphones on. That's what it is. Oh, I'm tripping. Nope. Okay, so. Yep. Yep. No. No. Yep. yep. No. Look at the camera. Yep. No. Yep. Ever told on a nigga? No. <laughs> Ever squeeze the trigger? Yep. Yeah. Wait, Ever wait. Oh, okay. I, wait, I have to tell you something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you hip hop people have to tell you something. Yes. I watched the people who were performing at uh, Belmont. Yeah. yeah. What was their names? I didn't see it. Uh, it, we'll was, it, it was it um, was a group. And okay. I saw lots of people doing what you just were doing. The dance? Yeah. I want people to touch each other. Mm-hmm. I don't want them just to dance by themselves. Yeah, okay. Let's do it again. Okay, okay. let's do it again. But okay. I, oh, but I want you to touch. <laughs> okay, right. okay. Okay, let's hold the book up too. Uh, All right. All right. Nope. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's look at the camera. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Ever told on a nigga? No. <laughs> Rules, thank you for coming by. I love you, okay? All right. And we're going to take your calls about today's show, 888-742-3345. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.